That's your big plan? Turn yourself in? I pulled the trigger, Ray. Don't be an idiot. Get yourself clear of this while you still can. You go down to the DA's office and you tell him Mickey shot Bonds. You understand? Ray, why are we doing this to Mickey, man? Why? Because you and I both know the minute Mickey feels the pinch, he's going to turn you in. That's Leo Schreiber, starting as the title character in the hit Showtime series Ray Donovan, where he plays a fixer who goes to extremes to clean up the messes of Hollywood's rich and famous. I'm Morgan Radford, pinch hitting for Willie, who lost his voice right before the show. In the meantime, Liev Schreiber is nominated at tonight's Golden Globe Awards for Best Actor in a Drama TV Series. The fifth consecutive year, he's been nominated for Ray Donovan. The 50-year-old grew up on New York's Lower East Side in the 1970s and 80s when the neighborhood was great gritty, to put it mildly. His childhood, as you'll hear, was eccentric, to put it even more mildly. Schreiber is an accomplished Shakespearean actor, but he's well known for his roles in TV and movies, and in part for his 11-year relationship with actress Naomi Watts. Liev and Willie got together for a Sunday sit-down at the Public Theater here in New York, where he got to start on stage, and where he now serves on the board. That's my chin, yeah, you know? You'd think they could give me like one eye. Nah, just the no. chin. Even as one of the most famous alums of New York's public theater, Liev Schreiber likes to check to make sure he's still on the wall. We're so lucky that there's actually a picture of me here. I was really nervous that there wasn't going to be. Schreiber is joined on that wall of fame by the likes of Meryl Streep, Denzel Washington, and Anne Hathaway. It was on the public stage in the early 90s that he first impressed audiences and critics, performing in productions of The Tempest, Macbeth, and Hamlet. The problem is it's, you know, $300 a week and it's a pretty grueling schedule, but what a great way to learn the business. Schreiber also performed Shakespeare in the Park at an outdoor theater where the audience occasionally included some of Central Park's residents. I was doing Macbeth. And I was doing, if it were done when tis done, which is when he's trying to figure out if he should kill Duncan. It's a very intense speech. And I looked down, and just above the footlights was a raccoon. No. Yeah. And the raccoon's standing there looking at me while I'm doing the speech. And I think, I'm thinking to myself, God, I'm doing this so well. I've even got the <laughs> raccoon. And right when I got to the big crescendo in the speech, and that was right when the raccoon it just, just chose to kind of walk away, <laughs> that it had, it had gotten a little boring. Those Shakespearean soliloquies are a long way from the gruff mutterings of Ray Donovan, the dark character Schreiber has embodied for the last five seasons. It's over. No restraining orders, no seeing her in court, none of that. You come near her again, I'll kill you. Ray Donovan is a rough Boston native turned rougher Hollywood fixer who uses any means necessary to bail stars out of trouble. Tommy, listen to me. I have a way to get you out of this. How did you develop the accent? Because you're a New York guy. Yeah, I went to college in Massachusetts, and there was a fizz plant worker that I used to hang out with who used to always complain about the pats. <laughs> I don't know if I can say it on network television, Go ahead. but the things he used to say, out oh, of pats, <laughs> those pats. It was really between him and my grandfather was the evolution of Ray Donovan. Schreiber has a soft spot for Ray, who comes from a messy family, but is trying to do better with his own. What do you love about Ray Donovan? That stoicism and that masculinity and all of those things that people think are so Ray are actually an injured child, a hurt child. That felt substantive to me and it felt like something that also maybe I, I could relate to a little bit. Born in San Francisco, Schreiber was raised in New York City, primarily by his free-spirited bohemian mother. His childhood was different. Correct me if I'm wrong about any of these things. Your mom drove a taxi? Yeah. Sold puppets on the street? Yeah. Only let you see black and white movies? Yeah. You hitchhiked with her through the South to a commune one time? Yeah. And she used to go to the vegetable market and she would buy the day-old vegetables, which I was, I was just mortified. <laughs> and my sneakers were from the A&P. His mom studied and taught yoga and gave young Liev a special Hindu name. And I was Shivadas, and, and I, that, you know, it wasn't cool. I wanted to have friends come over and I'd buzz the buzzer and they'd be like, Hari Om. And I'd be like, it's Shivadas, and my friends would be like. <laughs> and I think for about four years they were calling me Hagen Das. <laughs> and I, that was uh, the beginnings of uh, my acting career. 
Schreiber's first role came during his senior year of high school. He played Nick Bottom in a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. And I was getting laughs, and it was just, uh, there's nothing like that feeling when suddenly you're relating to everybody who you didn't really relate to before. Liev acted in college and got his master's at the Yale School of Drama. He made his first leap from the stage to the screen when he was spotted in a play by writer-director Nora Ephron, who cast him alongside Steve Martin in her film Mixed Nuts. Dancing with you makes me feel all fluffy. I think she thought it would be really <laughs> funny to see a guy who looks like me dressed as a woman. I basically played a suicidal transvestite. Right, so. right. She, a light role. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was a comedy, but I think she thought it would be funny. Since then, Liev has appeared in the successful Scream and X-Men movies and in the Oscar-winning Spotlight. Okay, but the fact remains a Boston priest abused 80 kids. We have a lawyer who says he can prove law knew about it, and we've written all of uh, two stories in the last six months. Off screen in 2005, Schreiber met actress Naomi Watts. Though they never married, Schreiber and Watts were together for 11 years and have two sons, Sasha and Kai. The pair ended their relationship in 2016. Has that split been difficult? It's always hard, you know, you build a life with someone and things change. And I think the way that we've looked at it is that we'll always be partners. And that's what kind of keeps us together and keeps us amicable. But I think we're more than that. I think we also genuinely really care about each other. And your boys see that. It's important to support each other, you know? Yeah. It's really important. I, I was making some jokes this morning at breakfast about mommy with the boys, and I did their eyes light up mm. when I talk about her. You can see how important it is to them that their parents care about each other, and that no matter what happens, that you continue to try and do that. The boys are seeing a lot of dad these days, as Ray Donovan has moved to New York for season six. Schreiber's Golden Globe nominations for the show are becoming old hat around the house. And now you're nominated for another Golden Globe award. Yeah. Imagine that never gets old. <laughs> uh, it does to my kids. <laughs> so are the Both. kids coming this year? Because your son went. They were fighting about it in the backseat of the car, and uh, Kai said something funny. He said, it's not that big a deal. Dad never wins anyway. <laughs> I was so hurt by that. Um, but I like it that I don't win, because I get to keep getting nominations. Yeah, they give you the award, you're done. Yeah. You walk out never to be heard from again. Well, that guy won. He's finished. <laughs> Well, we will see tonight if he gets that win so that he can, in fact, ride off into obscurity. Liev and the cast of Ray Donovan begin shooting the show's sixth season this spring. And just so you know, that famed public theater where they shot that interview is also where Hamilton was first staged before it exploded on Broadway and really all around the world. To see what Liev thought when he first heard from that show's creator, Lin-Manuel Miranda, about the idea of a hip-hop musical on the life of Alexander Hamilton, be sure to check out our web extra at today.com slash Sunday. And you can look for Liev tonight on the Golden Globe Awards right here on NBC. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.